Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm James Schaefer in for Jen Ong. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In top story sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assist Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A staff member at Rancho High School was assaulted on campus Monday, this according to a letter from the school's principal. Principal Darlin Delgado said in a letter sent to the school community on Tuesday that after the property was closed, a member of their staff was assaulted on campus outside a building by an unknown individual. The letter also saying that the Clark County School District Police were investigating the assault. Anyone with information is asked to call school police. A suspect in the theft of a Girl Scout statue has been arrested, this according to police. The bronze statue was stolen from the Girl Scouts of Southern Nevada headquarters in May, and it was recovered a few days after the theft, thanks in part to a tip to police. 37-year-old Vincent Ulmer was arrested Saturday on suspicion of theft. The statue, called In Grace, has an estimated value of $20,000. And a frantic mother chased her stolen SUV, which had her two young children still inside it, from a convenience store in North Las Vegas on Monday night. Police chased a stolen vehicle to I-15 and Charleston Boulevard after crashing into another car. The suspect, 38-year-old Mario Anthony Estrada, was arrested. Fortunately, the children were unharmed after the suspect pulled over and let them out. And thanks to mail-in ballots, more Clark County voters participated in the first weekend of early voting this year than in 2018, with Democrats outpolling Republicans. Review Journal's Renee Summerhour has more on the numbers. Yeah, over the weekend, 58,254 voters either voted early or submitted mail-in ballots, a 9.3% increase over 2018 when 54,000 turned out in person for early voting. In-person early voting during the first weekend alone accounted for just over 19,000 votes, which shows a shift towards the greater use of mail ballots. While Republicans turned out in greater numbers for in-person early voting, Democrats dominated mail-in ballots. In Clark County, Democrats casted a little over 26,000 ballots, while Republicans casted 18,612, nonpartisan just over 13,000. Democrats handed in 19,000 mail ballots, while uh, Republicans handed in 9,948. Uh, but Republicans outpolled Democrats in in-person voting, uh, voting 8,664, whereas only 7,263 Democrats turned out to vote in person over the weekend. The first weekend of early vote numbers match what Clark County Register of Voters Joe Gloria predicted and that the heavy winds affected voter turnout with many choosing to stay home. However, there were a lot of people dropping off mail-in ballots. In business sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, more than 50 employers from multiple industries are planning to fill more than 4,000 positions at the fall job fair next month. Employers and recruiters for major companies like Amazon, MGM Resorts International, Fremont Street Experience, and others will be at the Sahara West Library from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on November 17th. Attendance and parking are free. And as the popularity of esports continues to rise, more rules when it comes to esports wagering might be in place if a recommended amendment is adopted by the board and commission. Betters in Nevada will soon be allowed to wager on a variety of video game competitions staged online or in Nevada venues. The control board and commission are expected to consider the amendment potentially in November. Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. The Raiders have traded defensive tackle Jonathan Hankins and a 2024 seventh round pick to the Dallas Cowboys in exchange for a 2023 sixth round pick. Hankins appeared in 66 games with 61 starts since joining the Raiders in 2018. During his time with the Silver and Black, Hankins recorded 182 tackles, two and a half sacks, 13 tackles for loss, three passes defended, and three fumble recoveries. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Tonight, we'll see partly cloudy skies and light winds with a low of about 46 degrees. For the rest of the week, we will be seeing mostly sunny skies with highs between the high 60s and low 70s. The winds will pick up just a bit on Thursday, but set to remain at just about 12 miles per hour. Evening lows will remain in the low 50s from now throughout the weekend before we see a few showers in the works looking ahead to next week. In health sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. 
The City of North Las Vegas Veterans and Community Resource Center is inviting members of the community to attend a ribbon cutting Thursday at a new center located on Centennial Parkway. The new center will help residents achieve economic success, housing stability, financial literacy, and emotional well-being by offering a wide range of services, this according to information from the organization. And the ability to support Nevada seniors, people with disabilities, and vulnerable populations will be improved thanks to new funding. More than $48 million in American Rescue Plan Act funding was approved for initiatives aimed to increase access to services and resources for the most vulnerable populations. Sports brought to you by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. The Golden Knights will play their first back-to-back -back of the 2022-23 season tonight against the San Jose Sharks at 7.30 p.m. on ESPN. It's a huge game because Phil Kessel is making NHL history. He is breaking Keith Yandel's consecutive game streak by appearing in his 990th straight game. Phil Kessel has appeared in every game possible since November 3rd, 2009. He is now set to become the NHL's all-time Ironman, joining the ranks of baseball's Cal Rickman Jr. and football's Brett Favre. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Major League Soccer's conference finals take place Sunday, and Los Angeles FC is a minus 400 favorite at Westgate Superbook to advance to the MLS Cup. Austin FC is a minus 330 underdog in the match, and the total is three and a half goals. The top seed Philadelphia Union are minus 220 to advance from the Eastern Conference, with New York City FC plus 190. The total is two and a half goals. In entertainment sponsored by Best Mattress, Best Service, Best Selection, Best Price Guaranteed. Get ready for an epic experience as the Palms Casino Resort rolls out a new suite package. It offers 12 beds, more than 25 televisions, butler service, a bowling alley, and a basketball court just for starters. YouTube star Mr. Beast was the first to experience the one-of-a-kind night, but now you can too, all for the price tag of $150,000 a night. And with Halloween less than a week away, we've got your guide to some of the spookiest attractions in town. Starting with the Freakling Brothers, their interactive Screamathon is back at the IKEA parking lot, but don't take the family to this one. It's an R-rated haunted attraction. You can also hit the water with a 90-minute ghost ship cruise at Lake Las Vegas. That happens weekdays at 6 and 9 p.m. And the Sin City Halloween Ball is back, but this year it's being held at the Palms Sunday at 9 p.m. And tomorrow morning on 7 at 7 a.m., we'll be covering the best in food and drink options for Halloween. You don't want to miss that as well as more top headlines. Now, if you have a Roku device, just search Review Journal to download our channel or watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. Have a great evening. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.